I want to tell you a little bit about wound drains. This is a question we get asked a lot, and I think one of the reasons we, we do get people inquiring is because so many surgeons have different protocols of when they use drains and why they use drains. So basically a wound drain is a little tube with a suction bulb on the end of it that comes out of your wound and it drains excess blood or fluid that accumulates. And although uh, after any surgery some blood accumulates, it's debatable whether we need to actually remove that blood or do we just let it absorb on its own. I think the advantage of draining off fluid collections is in some circumstances it may avoid needing a surgical procedure to drain that fluid later on. But I think the major disadvantages are often those collections will go away on their own or even after we remove the drain after a week or 10 days, sometimes the collection still occurs. Drains can be painful and they can be inconvenient. And plus infection sometimes can go the wrong way up a drain tube and into a wound. So I find that in the majority of my um, surgical procedures I no longer use drains. So that's not to say doctors that do are doing something incorrect or wrong. I find that for larger procedures such as major breast reconstructions or other things, drains can be helpful. But for the majority of my breast lifts, cosmetic breast augmentations and tummy tucks, I no longer use drains and I, I can't say I've seen a major different results. It's always important to talk to your surgeon and understand what they recommend and why. During your consultation, we would have a, a long discussion so you understand uh, whether drains are necessary for you and if there are any advantages and disadvantages.